The six foot nine center for the Phoenix Mercury, enduring a confinement surrounded by people speaking a language she doesn't know, handcuffed and carrying a picture of her wife, Sherelle. Now saying she accidentally included vape cartridges containing cannabis oil in her luggage after packing in a hurry. Still, the drug charge could lead to a 10 year sentence. Is there some hope that this could either shorten the sentence, get her some leniency, or even motivate them to begin negotiating? Seeing that there was a plea um, does make us hopeful that this process will continue to move forward. Facing almost certain conviction after a lengthy trial, the admission could get the trial over sooner, since Russian officials say they won't even talk about a prisoner swap until the trial is over. Russian state media say the Kremlin wants to get back a notorious Russian arms dealer, Viktor Boot, serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. Experts say if the president gives up Boot for Griner, he should also demand the release of Paul Whelan, an American businessman, falsely convicted of spying in a Russian prison labor camp since 2018. Our criminal system, our justice system, our FBI, they don't like to do this, uh, but we've done it in the past. Reiner is getting support from across America and even at the White House Medal of Freedom ceremony from another superstar athlete, soccer's Megan Rapino, a silent but eloquent gesture embroidered on the lapel of her white suit, the initials BG embroidered in white silk, the name by which Brittany is known to family and friends. Today, Brittany's wife, Sherelle, will join the Reverend Al Sharpton in Chicago, where Brittany has been named an honorary starter in Sunday's WNBA All-Star Game just to keep pressure up on the White House. Craig? Andrew Mitchell for us this morning. Andrew, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.